Binance has uh, limited or halted uh, withdrawals of Bitcoin off of its platform uh, now multiple times in less than 12 hours. Um, oh, so, okay. you know, now they're claiming it's it's due to sort of congestion issues on the uh, on the blockchain. So, you know, that's sort of what they're chalking it up to. But obviously, you know, given all the dynamics we've seen over the last, you know, six to nine months, uh, with some of the other uh, exchanges and you know just broader crypto landscape, it's certainly not. Uh, you know, I, I think you'd be silly to not be con very concerned, right? So, um, yeah. So that's and uh, look, Binance is the largest uh, exchange in the world. So, yeah, the fact that uh, people are trying to move Bitcoin off the exchange and they're not able to is is not a great sign. But there's only one of these assets that has any regulatory clarity, in my opinion, and that's Bitcoin because it's regulated as a commodity by the CFTC. So um, if, if a concern is what happens to the entire complex when regulation comes down, like I've, I don't know, I've tried to be very consistent and just say if you want to avoid that or mitigate that risk and you feel like you want to participate in the space, then there's kind of like only one option to do so. And everything that like was said before about Binance or like pretty much any exchange, right? Like this, this is why it makes sense if you want to own this. And like, obviously we don't think you should in quad four, but if you want to own it, learn how to take custody and remove your private keys from the exchange such that there's no opportunity for Binance or FTX or anyone or Coinbase or whoever to essentially rehypothecate your Bitcoin um, or like fractional reserve it essentially, right? Like that, that's my, my thought is that Binance, they could say all anything they want about network congestion, like that, that's bullshit box, uh, blocks are created every 10 minutes and I've been watching the blockchain and like I sent transactions last night just to test it and it's working just fine. So now maybe larger transactions where you're having like, you know, uh, six or seven or eight zeros after it might take a little bit long, longer, it might be a little more expensive because there's, there are pending transactions in the med pool. But my, I read what Binance is saying is, you know, they they basically have more Bitcoin claims than they have Bitcoin under cu custody. Uh, and there's a way for everyone at home to mitigate that by taking custody of their keys and not allowing the exchange to do that with your Bitcoin. Binance has enough, you know, B Bitcoin than they don't. You know, it's like BREIT has enough liquidity to pay their to pay people out than they don't. It's liquidity is which is, which to a degree explains why Apple, uh, if it's not a stock, it's just a liquidity position at this point or a factor exposure can do what it does on days like that, because if you need to get liquid, you know, there you go. Um, there are so many things going on other than the cycle itself. I, I, I think that uh, after a day of Hedge Eye Live, by the way, you know, that's like what that's like doing the call on steroids, you know, back to back to back. I mean, I came out of that thinking, wow, I hope they take this sucker. I hope they take Apple right to 178, $1 away from its all time high. And then the whole thing goes kaput from there. I mean, because Everything that I've just heard on the call and throughout Hedge Eye Live, which are two different days of information, Friday to, to Monday, it's it, now there's never been a better time to reload. Hey there, Hedge Eye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedge Eye Nation, thanks for watching Hedge Eye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there, subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.